Hi Henry, this is Coach Smart from ABC Baseball Camps. Here to do your hitting uh, analysis on your video. We're going to talk about your setup, your swing plane, your position at contact, your lower half, and how you get it involved, and your finish. So let's get started. From a setup standpoint, Henry, I like what you do with your feet. They're parallel and square to home plate, that's good. You're a little bit farther than shoulder width apart from your uh, from a leg standpoint. Let's move this forward a little bit. Let's see where your hands go. Okay, from a setup standpoint, Henry, we'd like to see your hands a little bit higher. About even with your ear hole on your helmet. Okay, we never, as a hitter, we never want to have to go up to hit a pitch. We always want to be dropping that barrel down onto the baseball not having to raise up. If we raise up for it, we're going to, un, undoubtedly we're going to get underneath the baseball. So we want to make sure that we are going, uh, coming down with our bat from that position. Okay, so you got to raise your hands a little bit. See that? Okay. Now it's a little bit. Your foot's cut off a little bit. It looks like your front foot's kind of open it up at this angle, like that. Right now, that front foot should be just like your back foot, square. Like it was when you were uh, set up for your before you started your takeaway. Okay, make sure you stride to a closed front foot, not to an open front hip. When you do that, you open up this hip right here. That hip gets opened up, and that's going to cause problems on pitches on the outer half of home plate. Okay, let's talk about your swing plane. Okay, real low pitch it looks like. Let's just play that through and. That one's hard to evaluate because it's such a bad pitch. Let's see the second pitch. Okay, very good, Henry. Very good. Downward angle to your uh, swing plane. And it looks like you get flat right where, right where you're supposed to. Okay, that's pretty good. For a swing plane, I don't see any issues with your swing plane at all. Your position at contact, you're a little bit out in front. This arm should be have a bend in it right here, like that. But that's just because you're out in front a little bit. Let's see if we can take it back. That's where you should be making contact, is right about now. And you would have your, what we call a power L, a little bit of it anyway. So, that's not too bad. Your uh, right arm is perfect, straight line, that's good. It appears that your eyes are behind the baseball. Another good line there, like that, for position of contact. Um, this is a good angle here. We like that. So I want to make sure, Henry, that you understand why we do that, why we bend that back leg. Okay, what we're trying to do is create energy by driving this back knee down to the inside of your front foot. Even another reason why we want that front foot closed so we're hitting against something and not just uh, letting that energy go out your front end of your swing. We got to capture that energy against that front foot. So we got to get that foot turned. Okay. And the way you know if you're hitting, you're uh, driving down hard enough with that back knee is that your front foot should feel the urge to want to roll over. You want to make sure that doesn't happen, but you want to feel the urge for it too. And when you prevent it from happening, you're creating energy. You're creating more bat speed. More bat speed, more, more power. So all those things are really important. Okay, let's uh, get rid of some lines here. Now we're going to check out your finish. See where you go with your finish. Okay, that's a pretty good look. Okay, very nice finish. Good finish, Henry. You should be able to hold that finish, though. 
Okay, if you can't have some dynamic balance in the batter's box, you need to address that. Make sure that you can take a swing like that and hold that finish to show that you have the, that balance that everybody's looking for in the batter's box. Let's look at your third swing. Okay, and see how your foot is right there? How it's closed, just like your back foot. Okay, that's how we want to land, just like that. Yeah, right? Okay, yeah, it turned on us. So you got to work on that part. You got to work on uh, when that foot hand hits the ground that it's still square. And not don't let that front leg open up like that. That front hip. Keep that hip closed. Okay. Okay, kind of fell that one off. But good, good extension again. Your back side looks great. We just got to close off that front side. Nice finish. That's really good. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk to you about, though, Henry, let's see something here. Let's draw a circle around your head. Okay. Let's see how much that head moves. Okay, the only thing it does is go down, which is good. We don't want to go forward at all. All good hitters can press down to hit, so that's that's not a problem. Okay, just make sure that you maintain your your posture, your swing. See how bent over you are right there. Try to stay what we call stacked. Try to stay stacked, and you know get your shoulders more like in a, a position to play linebacker in football or guard somebody in basketball and not lean over too much. Now that pitch might have been outside and that's why you're doing it. But remember, the more outside the pitch is, the more you have to let the ball travel. If that pitch was outside, you should be hitting it right about, right off of your, right off of your front hip, okay? Not out here. That's too far. Let the ball get back here. That's where you should be hitting that baseball is right about there. Again, a good job of the finish. Good job with your uh, balance on that swing. Right there, solid as a rock. That's a great looking finish. Uh, so really, Henry, the one thing I really would stress to you is about your front leg, your front foot, and that front hip. Find something that when you do your T work, you do your drill work, find something you can stride against that prevents you from letting that foot open up. It's okay if it opens up a couple inches, but not all the way that, like you have it pointed. Find something heavy, a, a, um, a, dumb, a dumbbell maybe in front of your foot or a, a plate from the weight room upstairs or from your weight room, maybe on the ground in front of that so your foot can't roll that way. Anything that prevents that foot from rolling and, and moving sideways towards the pitcher so that you're hitting against resistance. But everything else, setup-wise, swing plane looks good. Uh, make sure you let that ball travel. Your lower half looks very good except for that front foot. And I wouldn't do anything different on your finish. Your finish is really good. Henry, I hope this helps. Look forward to uh, seeing you at another ABC baseball camp. Thanks a lot, bud.